Her important story for a minute here, uh, in case she wanted to back out. This is kind of just like, this may not have come up in premarital counseling, although it should have. Yeah. Uh, so, so Andrew actually gets taken off the gel, um, I believe. Did they take pictures? You were sitting on the bench at least, ready to have your mugshot. There are directions for mugshots. Yes. Um, and so, the reason I love that story is not just because one of our friends got arrested for something called turfing, as ridiculous as that is, uh, but particularly that it was Andrew. Uh, one of the things I love most about the story is that it was Andrew. Uh, because if you knew our group of friends, he was the last one that should be arrested for anything. Uh, he was the nicest, kindest, most gentle, um, I probably said something I should have said. <laughs> Jeff was getting excited about things he should have got excited about. Mac was probably ready to say some quick, quirky, sly comment. Curry was a very questionable looking person. <laughs> uh, just, Andrew was the last one that should have been arrested. Um, and so, this story is not really a story about why you shouldn't marry Andrew. Uh, it's actually a story about why you should. Um, Andrew really is one of the, the sweetest, kindest guys. Uh, that I've known, and uh, he was a blessing as a friend, uh, he was a, a real testimony um, to the goodness and grace of Jesus through his friendship, and I believe and trust that, that his marriage to Amanda now is going to be a beautiful testimony to Jesus' goodness and grace um, in marriage. So, we're showing the best for y'all, and I'm excited. Uh, to celebrate uh, tomorrow and what will happen. And I look forward to hear about what God is doing for you. Uh, hopefully, it won't involve any arrests. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of golf, and I, I know Amanda, you've heard this story before, but one time while Andrew was perfecting his golf swing in the basement, and I was on the computer. Uh, next thing I knew, I was in the hospital uh, with some staples in my head. Uh, but in his defense, in his defense, a few years earlier, I had pushed him off the couch. Uh, he went crashing into the coffee table, and he ended up getting some Dr. G original stitches in the back of his head, leaving a nice uh, scar there. Uh, uh, third thing you should know, growing up, Andrew did pick on me a lot. Um, his first, I think, first words to me were, you big bully, uh, <laughs> quoting his favorite character from Little Mermaid, Flounder. Um, 
but it was just amazing to see that he was asking for forgiveness for something he, that you know happened years ago when we were little. And you know, I've been married for almost two years now, and I know how hard it is to ask for forgiveness. So yes, and he will probably make mistakes and let you down, but um, I know that he will always ask for forgiveness and want to support you in that way. So Amanda and Andrew, I'm Andrew. Um, I'm really excited for you guys. The hashtag, right? Three, one, four. Um, to our great couple, um, Amanda. Welcome to the family. I thank God for bringing you guys together, and I hope you just enjoy the whole. It's kind of a lie because I'm only eight months older than so I didn't know then. But probably by the time we were seven or eight, we both kind of realized that we weren't ever going to get a little sister. <laughs> so we had each other, and we grew up with five other boys in the family. Um, I was more like one of the boys, and Amanda was the girly girl. <laughs> Always wanted to play dolls, and <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> but as we grew up, we kind of learned that we were it. We had each other. So... Um, Amanda has a great sense of adventure, and we went on many trips together. Um, we, our grandparents took us to Branson. Um, the trip always took forever because Amanda had to stop and go to the bathroom every five minutes. Trying to hit Branson is not good anyways, but we have to keep pulling over. <laughs> um, we always went on fishing trips.
even when she doesn't have very much, because she's so busy, um, she'll always take the time for someone when she can find it, even if she can't. Um, and, uh, like, <laughs> I still remember when uh, it was my wedding and all the bridesmaids were in the kitchen packing up fruit because my siblings didn't show up. And, um, Amanda and Joanna really kind of led the charge with everything as my bridesmaids. I don't know, Amanda's just amazing. I mean, she's generous and sweet and considerate and very athletic, more so than me. Um, and it's fun to be around, and she makes you happy when you're around. And I'm, I'm so excited for both of you, and I'm really glad I can be with you. And I'm just excited for everything that's going to come. I'm really excited. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>